everyone, it's me Bakisa and welcome back to the Canva Cafe. I'm going to be doing a tutorial for a Halloween um, fall inspired um, calendar, booking calendar. And so let's just get started. We're using this gold um, grid and we're going to use that as the basis of our calendar. Now I'm just going to write the month and you know if you want to use this all year round you can and instead of October you can put November, December, you can do it all year and just keep this original template at you know this original design as a template and then you can update it for any time of the year. And I'm just playing around with the fonts. Um, I didn't know which one I wanted, but that's a lie. I know which one I wanted because I've done this one similar before, but I can't remember which font I use and I don't, I don't feel like looking. So now I'm gonna use a square and I'm gonna place it over the whole design and a little tip as I line it up I'm gonna make it a little bit transparent that way I can see through it to know how big or how small to make it and I don't have to guess so you'll see me making it transparent and now I can see um, behind it so I know how much um, bigger I should make it um, how much longer or wider And I was just grouping the grid and the square and hitting the position button so that they are um, aligned. And then I'm gonna put the square behind the grid now that I'm done with it. And I'm gonna change the color. And because I use the gold grid, a dark color is best to um, make the gold pop. So now I'm looking for a binder or different little things to make my calendar look a little bit realistic. I search, uh, I believe I search binder, notebook binder or something binder, I can't remember. But if you wanna know, you can um, drop it down in the comment section and I'll look it up and um, I'll be glad to let you know what I used. So now I use a couple of them and I'm going to group them together and I'm going to end up overlapping them so that they will um, be able to fit and I line them up um, on top of each other so that um, it will line up properly. And then I'm just going to group them together so I can move them at the same time. Now I am typing out a, a time slot. So the calendar looks a little fun and a little, you know, semi-realistic or encourages people to book time slots. So I'm just going to put the time and change the font. Well, maybe I will or maybe I won't change the font. <laughs> I can't remember. Um, but yeah, so I'm just putting it in, you know, miscellaneous spots on the calendar. You can do whatever you want. You can put a little scissor in there, a little gold scissor, or you can put a little clock or a tiny hairbrush, whatever you want to symbolize um, booking dates. Just, um, yeah, something creative to do besides putting the time slots, but I was just doing something super quick, but ordinarily I'm a little bit extra AF, so I would have probably put a little gold scissors or a little gold hairbrush or a little, you know, something. So right here, I'm just showing um, what am I showing? <laughs> Apparently, I don't know. But anyway, so what was I doing? I was making something non-transparent, like child, I don't know why. Anyway, so now we're gonna go ahead and add some um, decorative elements. So I have uh, this gold um, spider web. Because you know, I like everything glam. We got this gold spider here. So 
So if you want basic flyer tutorial, you have came to the wrong channel. Okay. So now I'm just gonna do a drop shadow. Um, I think I'm gonna use the lift shadow function and I'm gonna adjust it by hitting the three little lines. Um, well, first I was just playing around with which shadow I wanted to use with shadow effect, but I ended up going with the, I think the page lift and I'm gonna increase the intensity so the dark um, shadow be extra dark. And I'm gonna change it to white just so you can see what I'm talking about. So you can see where the shadow is that I'm, um, playing with so when I made it white you can see where the shadow is going to be and I just wanted you to see you know visually and I do it extra dark because since I'm doing a dark flyer um, I want the shadow to stand out against that dark chocolate or I may end up changing the background but I want the shadow to be able to pop if the background was light or white I wouldn't have to do that I could just use the default um, shadow setting and then I'm going to do the same thing to the um, to the spider web eventually. I was just um, adding a shadow to the binder um, to give it like a back shadow. And now I'm just regrouping them because I had to ungroup them previously to do something. And I'm just um, lining them back up again. I don't know why I keep lifting it up and down, up and down. That should be something I should be doing with these weights around here. Going, you know, up and down. That's what I need to be doing. You could leave the flyer like this. You know, you could, but you know, I'm not. <laughs> so now I'm just um, going back in and just tidying up things, moving some things around. I want to leave a lot more blank space and that gigantic spider web and spider to me was taking up too much um, space on the, uh, on the flyer, on the post. And I wanted to, you know, move it up, move them out of the way a little bit. So now I'm just going to show you um, some different colors again. I wasn't sure what color I wanted to do. And as you can see with the white, you can see the shadow even more. So I'm just playing around with different colors just in case your brand happens to be a different color and you could kind of see what it would look like with your brand. So I just like to show different colors and color options just for you to get an idea. And right there, I was just using the gradient option. And now we're back to that one. I kind of like the white. It looks clean and bright, you know, but it's not giving fall per se, even though the spider web and the spiders there. So now I'm just typing whatever um, I want to type. That didn't sound right. I'm typing <laughs> my, you know, my copy. So it's just um, the social media handle and I'm changing it to black so that it can stand out against the white um, background down there. And then I'm going to add a social media icon, an Instagram icon. Um, and I actually picked the wrong one. I meant to pick one that I can change the color to. So if I change that the background, I could change up the color, but uh, it'll work for now for this white background. And I'm just lining them up. So the flyer was, you know, done, but now I'm gonna add some more fall elements after we're done. I'm just adding more things uh, I'm adding a leaf and I'm going to add a shadow to the leaf just so you know and I'm going to do it to both leaves and then I'm moving the spider all over the place because I got tired of the spider being over there. I wanted him to be on the leaf because you know spiders hang out on the leaf. Well, so I'm allowed to change my mind. <laughs> and then I want to add a little pop of color um, still in the flyer so I duplicated that leaf at the bottom and then after I duplicated it I end up using the um, duotone function eventually 
like now <laughs> and I'm just showing you different color choices so if you wanted to use a pop of color or tie in your color with the leaves you could also do that too but I end up going uh, with this little neutral brownish color and I changed that color into black that it was using to contrast with just so everything would match a little better because I think it was using like a dark purple and I didn't like that so I'm just putting that leaf over there like I need to tell you that you can see that why why, <laughs> why am I pointing out the, the obvious so I'm just fooling around with the leaf just trying to figure out where I want it you can put it wherever you like child and we're just switching up the colors again just so you can see what it looks like with different colors and that orange is everything and that sage green but that orange oh the orange was everything let me know what colors you like or what colors are your brand colors down in the comments section and because the I want the wire to look like it's metallic I added that little um, gold flare so that it could kind of like bling and sparkle and don't forget if you found value and you learned something so far please don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up and I'm just adding a drop shadow below the square so that the calendar has a little bit more um, depth and it looks a little bit more like it's floating a little bit and now all these things are extra that I'm doing because you know I'm extra so I'm just gonna put this glow behind the calendar just to make it you know look like not spooky but like glowy you know that fall glow or something and you know kind of like when the pumpkin is glowing so I just put it there, I took it out. So these are just examples that I'm showing you for creativity purposes. And then I'm putting this corner color right here and I'm gonna put it behind everything. So the calendar itself looks like it's ombre. And I thought that was so cute. I did, I, I ain't gonna lie. I, I thought it was just the cutest thing. So of course I took it off again. So now we done moved into a Halloween calendar. Gosh, we going through, child. I had a little extra time today. So I put this little spooky hand and now I'm just showing you different colors with the hand and uh, I, of course when you change the backgrounds you have to change out the colors of the numbers so you can read it and I'm just showing you I'm just showing you everything look at that orange now now I can't tell me this orange ain't everything now I added candles then I took away the candles <laughs> and then I added the shadow with the hand so the hand looked a little bit more realistic off the page and then I put this little glowy pumpkin to simpl simplify, to symbolize Halloween on the calendar. And now I'm making it into a motion flyer. Mm, look at that, that's so cute. And then I'm gonna do another one and another one. <laughs> but if you love this tutorial, please give me a thank, thank. Please give me a thumbs up. Love you, bye.